all you guys out there in internet land. I know I haven't updated one of these in a while and it's, I, I would say it's because I've been so busy, but that would be a complete lie. It's just because I haven't really known what I wanted to say or what I wanted to talk about. Um, if you notice, my room is different. I moved. Um, so my new bedroom, um, I'll give you a little tour. It's where my bed is and that's where the bathroom is. You can't see it, but there's a NASCAR flag up there. And up there's Yankees. And if you come over here, you can see my Cincinnati Reds flag. And, my, and then my little tree, my little quote, and Tom's, my bookshelf, my movie shelf, some of my posters, all those movies. Those are all movies. And then over there, you've got the rather side of my room. Alright. But anyways, back to the important stuff, which is uh, why I brought you here today. Back to the important stuff. Um, so I didn't know what I wanted to say, and um, I've come to the conclusion. I figured out what I wanted to talk about. And I want to talk about guys who don't have manners. Like, that... Like, it just pisses me off, like, when guys don't have manners, when people in general don't have manners. Like, there is a time and a place to be demanding and forceful. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I believe there's a time and a place for it. And I'm all about, you know, going headstrong and getting what you want. But there's a way of doing it that doesn't make you come across as quite a fucking asshole. Um, what spawned this was the other night, um, there's this guy that I know who sent me this message on Facebook and was like, hey, send me an invite for Google, gave me his email, and was like, thanks. I'm like, bitch, please. Where was the please in that? Where was the, hey, would you mind? Or, you know, something along those lines. Like, you don't just come at me demanding I do you a favor. Because guess what, buddy? I don't have to, and I'm not going to. It just, it really pissed me off, and it got me thinking about, like, all these guys that think it's okay to call a girl a bitch and, you know, shit like that. Like, I understand that sometimes you're joking and whatever, but when it comes down to it, if you're trying to woo a girl, do not call her a bitch. Because it's not going to happen. Like, come on. Like, I'll admit, like, it's, some girls are bitches. I'm not even pretend like they're not. But if you're trying to woo a girl, do not be like, yo bitch, come here. Because guess what? She's not going to suck your dick. So, you know, like, it's just, it's so irritating to me about, like, these guys that want to just, well, anyone in general who just has no manners and is just rude all the time, like, please and thank you will not kill you. We are not such overprivileged little pricks that we can't use, like, the simple niceties to get what we want. Because I promise you, people are going to be far more inclined to do you a favor or give you what you want when you're like, hey, um, I know it's an inconvenience, but would you mind... Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much. Like, when you're in line at a at the food store, you know, it will not kill you to be like, can I have a number one, please? Throwing that please on there, it won't kill you. It takes like five extra seconds and it'll make them feel a lot better. Like, I realize that when you work in customer service, your job is to serve the customer, but the customer doesn't have to be rude about it. Like, you don't have to throw your money at me. You don't have to, you know, treat me like I'm less than you just because, you know, I'm doing something for you. You know, um, thanking me for ringing you up or, you know, thanking someone for taking your order. Like, it, it makes a big difference. I realize it doesn't seem like it does, but those simple pleases and thank yous, I promise, make a huge difference in a person's day. It just, it makes you feel appreciated. And... You know, it's not even that big of a deal. Like, it's really not. Like, something so small as saying please and thank you makes someone feel, like, a million times better about what they do. Because they at least feel like they're semi-respected. And respect is a huge thing. And, like, people who have terrible manners, I have no respect for them. And you're not going to get my respect. I can tell you that right now. I just, it drives me insane when people don't 
when people are just so rude and they think that they're entitled to things and they think they don't have to be polite and say please and thank you and you know they think that they can just be like yo do this for me and they think that I'm just gonna bow down and kiss their ass guess what Cassie's not gonna fucking do that shit I never have and I never will and um, just as kind of an afterthought on my little rant I want to throw out there you know, um, a couple of the other, um, YouTube channels that I subscribe to, some videos that I watch frequently, just because I love them and I think that you guys will love them too, is, uh, it's Kingsley. I love him. He's so funny and I think that we should be best friends, so you should, like, email me or something. I'll post my Twitter in the bottom and you can, you can mention me and let's, let's be best buds. Um, Jenna Marbles, she is hilarious, and I love the stuff she talks about, um, you want to be friends, I'm totally down to party, it's cool. Um, Strawberry17, uh, her stuff, I love her videos, like, she seems like a lot of fun to be around, and I realize that it's just her, like, sing like, singing over someone, like, dubbing, but it's pretty awesome, uh, they're pretty entertaining, um, if you've ever watched any of the Tube Granny uh, videos, those are pretty good. Um, they're prank phone calls um, where uh, Tube Granny prank phone calls people and they're really funny. So give that a check out. And then um, this isn't on... Oh, and then uh, Sassy Gay Friend from the Second City Network. Hilarious. I love that guy. I love his videos. Um, I love the way that he makes literature hilarious. Like takes these, you know, heroines and basically makes them look ridiculous because they bow down to a man or whatever situation. So, um, he's all about female empowerment, which is awesome because, you know, strong, independent women. Uh, and then lastly, uh, this isn't on YouTube, but if you just look it up, Casual the Series, um, it's in its last season. They did, um, three seasons and they're in their last one, but, I mean, it's a totally totally great um mini series they're like little mini movies or like little mini tv shows they last about like six minutes or whatever but i'm addicted and i love watching them so i hope everyone has an awesome day i'm gonna go finish getting ready for work and love you bye Mwah!